The rhythmic hum of tires on asphalt echoed through the desolate landscape as I stood on the side of the highway, thumb outstretched in a futile attempt to catch a ride. My name is Mike, and I was a seasoned hitchhiker, having crisscrossed the country in search of adventure in the open road. Little did I know that this particular journey would take a sinister turn, plunging me into a nightmarish odyssey of survival. It was a crisp autumn evening, and the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the deserted stretch of highway. The occasional gust of wind rustled the skeletal branches of nearby trees, creating an eerie symphony that sent shivers down my spine. I'd been standing there for what felt like hours, my optimism waning with each passing car that zoomed past, indifferent to my outstretched thumb. As the darkness deepened, a pair of headlights approached in the distance. My heart quickened with anticipation as the vehicle slowed, revealing a weathered pickup truck. The driver, a middle-aged man with a scruffy beard and a worn-out cap, rolled down the window and motioned for me to hop in. Gratitude washed over me as I climbed into the passenger seat. The truck's interior was a patchwork of odd smells, a mix of engine oil, stale tobacco, and something indefinably musty. The driver introduced himself as Carl, a trucker hauling goods from one end of the state to the other. He seemed friendly enough, his conversation peppered with tales of the road and the peculiar characters he'd encountered. As we cruised down the empty highway, Carl's demeanor shifted. His casual anecdotes took on a darker undertone, and his eyes seemed to glint with an unsettling intensity. Unease gnawed at the edges of my consciousness, but I dismissed it as the product of an overactive imagination. After all, I'd met my fair share of eccentric characters on the road. As we delved deeper into the night, Carl's truck veered off the main highway onto a narrow, winding road that seemed to lead into the heart of the wilderness. The flickering dashboard lights cast an ominous pallor on his face, revealing a sinister grin that set my nerves on edge. Shortcut, Carl mumbled, his voice tinged with an unsettling glee. I glanced at the sparse surroundings, a landscape devoid of any signs of civilization. Alarm bells rang in my mind, but I hesitated to voice my concerns, afraid of escalating an already tense situation. The truck rumbled along the desolate road, the shadows of looming trees playing tricks on my imagination. The air grew thick with an unspoken tension, and my instincts screamed at me to escape this encroaching nightmare. Yet, the isolation of the wilderness rendered escape impossible. As the minutes stretched into an eternity, Carl's conversation took a darker turn. He spoke of isolated cabins hidden deep in the woods, places where the rules of society didn't apply. His words carried a sinister implication, and I felt a chill crawl down my spine. The truck slowed to a crawl, and Carl's eyes fixed on mine, the glint of madness unmistakable. A surge of adrenaline propelled me to action. Without a word, I unbuckled my seatbelt and flung open the door, my feet hitting the cold ground in a desperate bid for freedom. The darkness enveloped me as I sprinted into the woods, branches clawing at my skin. Behind me, the engine roared to life, and the truck's headlights cast long shadows that danced with the rhythm of my pounding heart. I zigzagged through the trees, fueled by fear and the instinct for self-preservation. The forest, once a place of solace, now felt like a labyrinth of terror. I dared not look back, my senses hyper-alert to any sign of pursuit. The distant hum of the truck faded, replaced by the symphony of the night, a symphony that seemed to mock my desperate flight. Hours passed, and exhaustion forced me to a stumbling halt. The forest had swallowed me whole, and the oppressive silence weighed on me like a leaden cloak. The chill of the night seeped through my clothes, and a profound sense of isolation settled in the pit of my stomach. With trepidation, I resumed my journey, navigating the unfamiliar terrain with the aid of a dim flashlight. The occasional rustle of leaves and the distant calls of nocturnal creatures added to the surreal ambiance. The forest, once a mere backdrop to my hitchhiking adventures, had become a battleground where I fought to survive. As dawn painted the horizon with hues of pink and orange, I stumbled upon a clearing. Relief washed over me as I spotted a road in the distance. Civilization beckoned, promising an escape from the nightmare that had unfolded in the wilderness. I hurried toward the road my senses on high alert, wary of any signs of danger. A passing car, its driver a kind soul who offered a ride and a sympathetic ear, brought me to the nearest town. I recounted my harrowing experience to the local authorities, 
who assured me that they would investigate the incident. But the specter of Carl and his ominous intentions lingered, a haunting reminder of the darkness that could lurk behind the facade of a friendly face. The days that followed were a blur of police interviews, descriptions of the pickup truck, and a growing uneasy that stayed with me like a shadow. The news reported nothing, and the authorities seemed no closer to apprehending Carl. The wilderness had swallowed him, leaving me with a lingering sense of vulnerability. Haunted by the events of that night, I vowed to share my story as a cautionary tale for fellow travelers. The open road, once a symbol of freedom, now bore the weight of unseen threats. The hitchhiker's code of trust had been shattered, replaced by a sobering awareness of the dangers that lurked in the unknown. As I share this story, the echoes of that fateful night reverberate through my consciousness. The highway, once a lifeline to adventure, had become a corridor of nightmares. The desolation of the wilderness, the sinister grin of a stranger, and the desperate flight through the shadows were etched into my memory, a testament to the thin line between trust and treachery on the road less traveled.